Here's the junior sharpshooter, Kelsey Marshall, down low to Mom Premier. This is exactly where Miami wants her. Spin move, glass, it's good. Nice move. Emmy eight after this move from Beatrice, Mom Premier. Absolutely. Only common opponent for these teams is DePaul. Mentioned Miami dropped a narrow game as Taylor Mason knocks down a corner. Overall right at 45%, which is one-tenth of a percentage point off their season mark. My goodness. I mean, that's a lot of numbers. But what I can tell you is that they're shooting the ball well from the three-point line. The likes of their AP All-American, Beatrice Mom Premier, putting the ball on the ground and getting to work. He picks up the foul. They have four in the first, what, four and a half minutes. Not good. I think it's three and a half. Now. That's my know. math also <laughs> not good. Mom Premier comes up with the block. Beatrice Mom Premier right here waiting in the paint. No way you're gonna get that up over her. What Miami needs. Both coaches expecting physicality, and we've seen it. Look at the way they just collapse on Mom Premier. Better patience. And that'll loosen them up, right? And that's Mulena City Baba. Now Beatrice on Gould Bay. Both players playing with three fouls, and Beatrice able to get enough space. Zara Barnes, who checked in for Binghamton, and taken it away by Kelsey Marshall. Gray, nice pass to Mom Premier, easy two for her first basket of the night. In order to get the rebound, you got to do your work early against her. Banks, left elbow jumper, no good. Mom Premier, easy offensive rebound and two. She has four points so far. Pass underneath, Ramil kicks it out to Boland with 10 on the shot clock. Boland finds Ramil, and that one's blocked by Mom Premier. Here are the last shot of the half here. And Ramil past Mom Premier, but Mom Premier with the block. Five seconds to go. Here's Houston. She pulls up. The three is good. Back to the right wing for Molina. Working underneath for Mo2 gets blocked. Which is something that is not unconventional. Most teams throw at least two players on Mom Premier. Look at that move. <laughs> Boy, look at that move. <laughs> and that is why. She's difficult, almost impossible. Now a five-point lead for the Cougars. Mom Premier working, misses, grabs her own offensive rebound. The bucket is good. She'll head to the line. Guard, she is relentless on the glass. A relentless pursuit of the basketball, possession Ooh. after possession. But she has to be careful, and I have no. Just you know, you see it, I'm then sure. you see Subasic go over and talk to the official. Nice look down now, underneath. Motuga gets it taken away. By what they did last season, a 25 and nine record, finished fourth in the ACC. Again, a NCAA appearance, and finally the bucket. Boy, Wake Forest is literally guarding Beatrice Montpremier with two players, so Miami's got to find the open man despite all of that. Kenza Saug out of France, one of those freshmen you mentioned on the floor. Montpremier right around the basket to wrap around. And Boy, Mikea, Gray, Gray, great defense on Rasa. Has been disruptive against Rasa. Wonderful spin move by Mom Premier, and Miami takes the lead. Find the play of Mikea Gray. We saw her hit a couple shots. Now with the assist. You see that Georgia Tech rebounding ability coming in very early with Hermosa getting that second chance point, or shot, should I say. Uh, to turn over as Mom Premier got the hand in the passing lane. Marshall trails, catches, lets it fly. Slides off the Mom Premier screen. Mom Premier in deep on Kubai, and she scoops it in. Once again, it's Mom Premier with the left hand finish. It wasn't a set, from what we understand, Tom, it wasn't a set. She's back on this date, and so I believe this Miami squad is played in positions. As you look at, look how comfortable that is. Yeah, this is, this is, I, I don't know about rust. I mean, look at that. Turn around, one dribble, go. The lead is 11. More women's basketball to come. Clemson and Florida State on Thursday. After Florida State was upset today by Georgia Tech, that's Mom Premier. Getting her feet in the paint, kicking out for that wide open three. Alex Sharp could not connect. Harrison with a blindside block there of sorts. <laughs> Mom Premier, quick move to the basket. Led by as many as 11. Hurricanes by six after one. Right foot stayed on the floor. She spins over her right shoulder with the left hand off the glass. Mom Premier did not waste any time. <laughs> Banks trying to see Mom Premier on the little slip screen. Mom Premier does it again and one.
And Mom Premier has her first field. Pitt has a few freshmen who haven't even turned 19 yet. <laughs> this, is, this is an extremely young team, no matter how you want to look at it. As Mom Premier draws the and one. Well, Beatrice Mom Premier finally getting something going. Stuck six now, but the Rockway's been really physical in the interior with her. She had 25 last year alone. Well, the block is How Beatrice. About that spin move? Oh, wow. my goodness. That's her bread and butter inside on the block. Not trying to get in foul trouble by trying to block a shot. Anna Hank is a freshman. And that'll be a basket and foul at the other end for the Canes. We have cut across the front of your face like Hannah Hank does right here. You got no chance. Get away. Harden. Then it got back, deflected it. Mom Premier lays it in and hits the net. By Thornton. Look at the quick hands of Harden. She's coming right at you. It's a layup. Oh. Mom Premier bails her out. Mertens inside Robinson, blocked by Mom Premier. The game right now at 13 for the Tigers. Mom Premier turns around, the line drive is money at 18 points. Can you take that if you're Amanda Butler? First one. Mom Premier catches, pivots. This would be a sweep of the lower seeded teams in the first round. Gray for three. In traffic, Mom Premier. Chance of a three point play. Well, they always say it's hard to beat a team three times, right? And we're seeing the evidence of that.